hello guys and welcome back to this video i am edika noboti if you don't know this is isaac news i'd like you to please like share subscribe to this channel and engage with us in the comment section all right moving on so the president of, our, of nigeria mr muhammad obari while speaking at the um, commissioning of the dangote fertilizer plant you know he made a lot of comments and part of what he said was that when he assumed office in 2015 there were three major focuses of his administration which is security economy and corruption you may be quick to say, oh, well, he has failed in all those three. If you have, if you're watching me right now, you have an Android phone, please go and Google the amount of conviction that EFCC have made. And in case you don't have time and you don't have energy, I made a video. Just go through my playlist. I made a video of the amount of convictions that EFCC has made since Buari came to office. I compared it with the convictions EFCC made in previous administrations. And with the one EFCC has made in this administration, and the, in fact, it is almost if you compare to what he has done, it's as if nothing ever happened before. It's as if nothing ever happened before. But like I like I said earlier, the, um, these things are not being aired or they are not being um, pushed by the media. Okay, we are trying to push all manner of negative news, which is not what we are known for here at Isaac News. So I don't know two to think of two to three thousand convictions have been done by EFCC this year. And I'm not even, um, I cannot verify that figure because, you know, I made that video, that video already and it's not what I'm talking about right now, but a lot of, just believe me, I, I think I can clearly say over 2,000 convictions have been made by the EFCC this year. And I know a personal situation where a place I was going to do some work in a, in a three-story building, a three-story um, um, lodge, EFCC at some point raided that place and they actually caught some people doing fraudulent activities in that place. This is first-hand story with people who experienced it. I'm not telling you here, sir. I, I know the people. I talked to them myself, and they told me what happened, what transpired in that very big lodge. So a lot is going on there. As regards the economy, Nigeria is now becoming an export-based economy. We are becoming an export-based economy, attracting big names on the global market. Big names. Security-wise, our Navy is now manufacturing ships. Our Air Force is now manufacturing aircraft. Our soldiers are manufacturing their guns and their um, on land um, automobiles. Our maritime people are undergoing deep blue projects, claiming the maritime. In fact, the um, international maritime body had to come and congratulate Nigeria that we have actually stopped piracy on the, I think it's on the busy Gulf Coast, I'll be in the in the Lake Chad region, region, that we have actually stopped piracy in the Lake Chad region. So, Buhari has received awards by many international bodies for what he's doing. And sometimes you wonder, why are we not seeing this? Seeing this? But please, back to this, I wonder why I even digress this much. Okay, so the president was making a lot of comment about what has been going on in the economy um, as regards um, fertilizer, as regards other things. We will thank, we are very thankful for um, our big brother, um, Mr. Aliko Dangote and the work he's doing within the country. But to be more specific about fertilizer production, like I said earlier in the video, Nigeria actually um, has an annual demand of six to seven million metric tons of fertilizer. That's how much we need to grow our agri sector. And um, coupled with the fact that we're undergoing an agro revolution within Nigeria, it's all it's it is highly imperative that our fertilizer production keeps increasing as we stand right now dangote fertilizer complex can produce 3 million metric tons of fertilizer per year this is supposed to be the largest fertilizer plant in africa 3 million metric tons per year remember we, we have what a demand of six to seven million metric tons per year and we have one factory producing three million metric tons a year and we have other factories combined producing between 2.5 to 3 million metric tons a year so we are slowly becoming self-sufficient in fertilizer production. Our current production capacity is between 5.5 to 6 million metric tons per year. This is highly encouraging. This is my, this is, this deserves to be lauded and to be publicized and propagated. They should even make billboards about these things. Cause a lot is going on under our noses and we are not seeing it and it's so sad. But here on this platform, we are here to add volume to these innovative um to these innovations and we're sincerely grateful for what is going on we, we, we you know thank we are so um, grateful for our president and i keep saying in this video that people that are working 
and every ministry in this, in this country is working hard every ministry ministry of finance wow you want to know what they've done go and watch the video about the amount of debt that has been repaid they even repay debts owed to international bodies owed to international aircraft owed to even global bodies we spend over seven trillion naira paying debt converted to dollars at the same time, we are servicing a lot of infrastructure development. Come on. Come on. The amount of money that has been pumped into this economy in the last seven years is mind-blowing. And you get to see it as we proceed. So a lot is happening. And I'd like you to stay tuned uh, you know, to this channel. You know, keep checking us up. Keep checking us out. You can even suggest things you want us to comment about. You know, things that concern economic development. Okay, We are very particular about the kind of videos we make. Um, although we talk a lot about good news, but even within the niche called news, we're very particular about news that affect business not just being about that's a major focus okay so this is the end of the video i'm not going to stretch beyond this um i'd like you to like share subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment section so we see you again remain blessed hello guys and welcome back to my channel i'm your host Eddie Kanobut, and this is isaac news so today on isaac news we're looking at the fertilizer industry in nigeria this is not going to be a very um, deep video. I just want to run commentary on certain things that I came across within the day. Maybe some other time we can look critically into the fertilizer, fertilizer industry. But as we speak, Nigeria is becoming a leading fertilizer producer in Nigeria. As at when our president, Muhammad Obari, assumed office in 2015, Nigeria imported over 90 to 95% of its fertilizer demand. This man whenever i come across the conversation i'm like wow wow the media is powerful you see this our Nigerian media our media is powerful they can so twist the narrative and you feel that ah life right now is way more disastrous than life back then nigeria as a whole we help jesus we are exporting about 95 percent of rice before this administration over 95 percent of fertilizer before this administration, we're importing, I can only stood peak. We're importing um, um, starch. We're importing, think of anything. We're importing a lot of a lot of things, importing many things. But this administration came and it listed 41 items on the import ban list. Items that will not receive forex from CBN for importation in order to discourage importation and encourage local production within these sectors. And one of them is fertilizer as we speak right now nigeria's annual demand of fertilizer is between six and seven million metric tons per year six to seven million metric tons per annum of fertilizer is our current demand and we were producing i don't know 100,000 or two or to 300,000 metric tons before this administration this any day, any time, this is unacceptable. And we thank God for the work that the president has done. A lot has been done, and this is what I want to share with you. So Nigeria is slowly becoming a leading, the leading fertilizer producer in Africa. And this is because of the massive support that they've received from the central bank. Within the last five years, the central bank of Nigeria supported the fertilizer industry with a whooping. 114 billion naira 114 billion naira is the amount of money within the last five years that have come into the fertilizer industry because of the president and the central bank's insistence on the fact that we must reduce our fertilizer importation so according to the central bank governor a major reason why we are seeing this whole surge fertilizer production is because of the policies that have been set in place to incentivize people to come into the sector and to work there as we speak there are over 70 blending plants operating in nigeria 70 right now there are there are actually 48 official when i mean official there are 48 big fertilizer plants okay but there are over 70 even straight in some some reports say 90 some say 70 so between 70 and 90 blending plant operating in nigeria as we speak now as at when our president assumed office there were just seven official fertilizer companies in nigeria in five to six years 
we have what 90 70 to 90 in terms of um, a very um, a cumulative number but officially we have about 48 from seven let us stick with 40 because that's the, that's the official number the central bank is actually um, recognizing from seven to 48 fertilizer uh, comp fertilizer plant in nigeria within within seven years within seven years this is this is huge and this is highly commendable 